Hi, how do I add an external link to my WordPress content? Okay, so an external link, if you remember from the previous screencast, that is a link that points to another page on the web. It is not a page that is inside your website. This is a page that is out there. Okay, here's an example. I'm on the Exclaim website here and here's a, uh, a news item that was posted yesterday. Fortet announces a new album. So that's very exciting. I'd like to link to this. Okay, um, so how do we go about doing this? Let's go back to our sample post here and uh, let's say first of all we need to select which content we're going to be linking or linked you know, what, what words are we going to have be the link? Okay, what's going to get underlined and in blue? Okay, so let's say, let's actually add something right here. I'm going to say, uh, right here, I'm going to say, we really love the new album, by, or we really love the new Fortet album. There we go. All right, and I'm going to link the words, the new Fortet album. Okay, I would like that to link directly to this announcement right here. Okay, so I've selected the words that I want linked. We're gonna go back to this link button. We're gonna click on the link button. And the first thing it's asking me is here, this is an existing content, so we can go ahead and close this. We don't need this. Um, or at least it's not existing content on our website. It's existing content on a different website. We need to just enter the destination URL right here. So let's go here, let's copy this. Okay, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna put it in here. We need to put a title. Okay, you do need to put a title. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna copy this title right here, put this in here, and here's a decision. You can decide whether or not you want this link to open in a new window or tab. So this is the behavior um, that you would uh, expect to see. Uh, you're a user, you're a visitor to your website. Do you want, when people click on this link, do you want them to just go to that page or do you want that page to open in a new window or a new tab? And that's totally up to you, okay? Some people feel really strongly that you shouldn't open up new windows and new tabs. Other people feel that you should. I'm not going to get into the debate. I'm just gonna show you how to do it, okay? Generally speaking, if it's existing content, if it's internal content, you're not gonna open up a new window or tab. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. A lot of people, uh, many people do, however, think it's okay to open up you know, external content in an external tab. So just for the sake of showing you how to do it, I'm gonna go ahead and click that. We'll click add link, okay? And there it is right here. Let's update this. Do, do, do. And while that's updating, I'm gonna close this. And we're just watching for this thing that's done turning. So we know that we're good. Let's go ahead and uh, or, uh, update this page. And let's scroll down and found, find this link. Here's we really love the new Fortet album. I'm gonna click on this. And by the way, before I click on it, notice how, see the little, uh, the hover, the, the little tool tip that shows up below there. Okay, Fortet announces beautiful rewind album. That's what you put in the title section when you were setting up that link. Okay, and that nice WordPress sets all of that up automatically for you. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this and before I click on it, what do you expect to happen? It should open up in a new tab. So let's see if that's what happens. Indeed, that's exactly what happens. It opens up in a new tab and there is the uh, article, the external link. So, um, We've covered how to do internal links. This is the in, an internal link that leads to another page on our website. Here's an external link, okay. Um, yes, let's actually go back and talk very briefly about the internal link here. I wanna show you something. This internal link, if we actually wanted to edit it, okay, you can always just click on this again. And you might think, well, why don't I just you know, like, what well, is this, you know, is, is, is there a different way of doing this? Yes, we could automatically cut and paste the address in here. Um, the nice thing about this is that WordPress is going to keep uh, track of all of this so that if you change the location of that original that sample page, it's going to update this automatically for you. Yet another reason why a good content management system is really, really nice to have. It can save you an awful lot of time and trouble in the long run. I'm going to close that because I don't need to update that. Okay, so we've covered internal links. We've covered external links. You're probably sick and tired of hearing me talk about this. Um, we're going to move on in the next screencast. I'll cover some other cool and exciting things. But in the meantime, thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.